up here we've got a hand. Oh my god, for real? Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tour of the craft room that me and my mom actually share. I'm at the doorway right now. I have the door closed just to get rid of noise. You can still hear the freaking clock that I absolutely hate. I think it's really annoying. But um, we have two L-shaped desks that are over here and they are just there. I don't know about these desks. Like they're nice because there's like a lot of workspace, but I don't know. That's the door. On the left side here, we have a ribbon station. I also keep the glitter here. The organizer came from Michael's. Yes, Michael's. And then over here, we just have this. It's supposed to be um, my mom's shipping station for her shop, which if you didn't know that she had a shop, it's called Poetic Magpie. And I'll link it down below for you guys so you can check it out. This is supposed to be her shipping station, but... I haven't really organized it to be that full potential. And then back here is just like a junk corner, basically. There's not too, too much back here, but there is quite a bit. And we have some CDs back in there, too, that's hard to see in our modem for the internet. So this is the wall of everything. That's the annoying clock. And this is just the wall of everything. And um, it goes down there. It goes up there. We have a cabinet. Some in the closet. We have a lot, a lot of stuff. Here's another um, ribbon organizer I believe we bought from Hobby Lobby. We just have some of our thicker ones on here. And stools. We have these gel pens. I don't really get too much use out of them, but they're nice to have just in case, I guess. Some Bic Market markers, which I really like these markers. And this right here, which I believe came from Hobby Lobby... I really think it came from Hobby Lobby, but I don't really know. And we just have a bunch of office supplies in here. So we have, like, post-it notes. There's some markers and pens in here. Some clips and paper clips and staples and stuff like that. These are more post-it notes and memo makers and key rings to hold index cards. Um, this is just some hardware computer stuff. And then in the very last one, we've just got a bunch of little booklets and just memo note pages they're not sticky notes but they're just paper to write on and down here we've got gardening doll books cross stitching books um well there's like a doll book in here because i think it's like collectible doll book thing um and decorating my mom likes to decorate as do i uh, in this bin, we've got a bunch of sewing stuff, um, or just fabric. There's not that much sewing things. There's like iron-ons and handkerchiefs and extra fabric. So, that's all that's in here. And then we have some organizers up here. This is an old card reader that we had that I actually can throw away. Um, and then... Over here we got these organizers from Target, but you can get them at Walmart too. They're all by like, let me think, I'm not sure what brand it is. But in here we've got some scoops and some things that just need fixed. But we've got a hand rotary cutter. I dropped everything. But there's some different blades that this goes with and that's nice to have. It's like a mini pizza cutter. Kidding. And then this top one is empty. We've got push pins for a cork board that's not hung up yet. We've got... These are cute little paper clips back here that are like talk bubbles. And this is an orchid template, and I made the orchids on, orchids on the side here with that. And here we've got some brackety type deals in here with holes and stuff. I don't really know. And extra strong magnets are in there. And this, we've got a bunch of these little punchers. So here's like apples and. Is that a cat? Oh, barefoot. It's a foot. Um, just a bunch of different little punches. A little sharp pencil sharpen over here. I moved. Um, these are our Disney ones we actually got from Disney World. This is Stitch, which is my personal favorite. And these ones I really like a lot better because they have this. And it's just easier for you to work instead of having to use your palm and push it down. So we have a few of those and just a little cheap heart in there. 
and some more cutters and these ones are double ended I've never used these ones before for me personally but they've got numbers on them there's one and zero so that way there's not as many then we've got the cut the scissors that cut shapes on the edges which is really nice too we can have scallop or zigzag we've got a couple of drawers of those and I believe the bottom drawer is empty oh I guess it's got some extra little bulbs in here which I thought I lost but I found them that's good to know then down here we've got some more of these cutters in a really big glass jar and I've got a another card reader that's our brand new one um, I got a Sims game and a greeting card book some random paper and in here we've got just extra cards um, we do like to make cards but it's just not something that we do often since we already have a crap ton and in the bottom we've got like what's in here this is like software books and stuff for our computers and some games that my mom would play and that's the stuff I dropped and over here this whole tower I believe is one piece maybe two but I think it's one no I think it's two okay it is two pieces um and this again probably came from Walmart or Target or something like that um but it's a three drawer and then a what's one two three five six seven a seven drawer yeah a seven drawer that's weird and then this little wooden thing probably came from walmart or something like that and it holds some adhesive in there picture corners i don't know random stuff that we don't use very often glue dots it looks like just some of random things and then we have like scrapbooking papers in all of these there's scrapbooking kits travel kits patriotic kits star wars Glitter metallic paper, designer paper, and these ones are single ones that you would buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby that have a print on them. Die cut papers, they're just like a shape, a large shape. Plain colored paper, all of these are 12 by 12s by the way. And some scrap papers that we've used to cut just one or two things out of. And some scrap packs that we actually bought. The nice thing about these is they have lids and... The only bad thing is that you have to take the whole thing out and set it somewhere. But these are just scrap packs we've actually purchased from the dollar section um, at Target. And when it was a dollar. And also from the Dollar Tree. Right here we just got some picture CDs. A whole thing of that. This is an empty box I think. Oh actually these are all of our chipboard letters in there. And then this is stuff from me and my boyfriend's zoo trip. Um, that I need to do yet yeah, in a scrapbook. Those are all postcards that we have, um, both of those, and a little card making kit down there. Software stuff and dictionaries for working. Up here we've got these again, they're the three drawers. You can buy them anywhere. Uh, right here is our kettle bug, uh, just some bosses. And we've got like stuff for our Xyron printer. Uh, like discs and refills for the ink, the cuddle bug embossing borders and backgrounds, die cuts, uh, paper scrap mini, they're like postcard size and things like that. Decorative letters are in here, so they're more chipboard or foam. And then we have chipboard wood shapes, or they used to be, now they're just like these weird cardboardy shapes. And then we have some other decorative scraps that could be cabochons or just little glitter things. And we here, in this cubby hole, we put a, just turning whatever these are called, to organize all of our Sharpies and pens and stuff. So that's in there. Another one of these organizers, and they just hold all of our stickers. So this one is for my brother particularly. This one's for me particularly. Um, this is just from our Hawaii trip, I think, or maybe beach. This is from our beach trips, which we haven't had too many. Then these, oh. Then down here, we've got some more stickers, and they're all miscellaneous stickers. All of them. I don't know what's in here. And then in here, we've got some small paper books, and we also have some chipboard and those three organizers. And then we have some empty photo albums on the bottom, as well as over here. And in this tub, this is where we have some more chipboard that's just randomly in a paper bag and just some other bags back there and they're themed this is my little area I've got some clay in here not too much um, but I did some clay projects earlier I've got acrylic paint um, these little flowers that we already pre cut out and things like that 
another drawer organizer that we've had forever. And this has our 8 by 5 8 by 11 or something like that papers. They're all just colors. They're all plain colors. And then just randomly some more chipboard up here. And here we've got some extra Cricut cartridges as well as chipboard and stickers and corkboard. Random stuff up here. Up here, we got this whole one organizer. If you can see it, it's like right here. And it has a shelf from Target. It's a shoe organizer or something. Shoe thingy. I don't know. We just have right here some plain papers and printer paper. And I have put a couple of these smaller paper packs up here for now. That's just a basket with empty containers, small plastic containers in it. And then up there, we've got a etch a sketchy type thing. Um, those are Hawaii stickers and die cuts that we bought from a little store in Hawaii. If you want to see a huge haul of that, let us know, or let us know, let me know, because um, I'm pretty sure that's all of what we got, which is crazy. <sighs> These are all of our 12 by 12 paper packs. We have tons, so if you ever want to see a collection of those, let me know. Uh, those are all of our Cricut cartridges. Then this is where the stamping happens. Um, this is a huge stamping area. We've got ink in this thing and some cutouts that we can stamp on already and some clear stamps in that container. These two containers were purchased from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And then in this cubby, we got some more stamping as well as cork board for my mom's jewelry. And these are vellum, I believe. This might be paper, actually. There's just some random paper in there. And these are punch out a set of punchers of letters, the alphabet and everything. This cubby has more stamps. These are wooden stamps from like Stampin' Up and things like that. So they're all in here. And then in the bottom we have some empty photo albums. In this cubby, this is all of my stuff. This is where I have um, like an eyeshadow palette I use. Um, it's old to me. And I use it for my clay projects. I also have a bag of cross-stitching items in here from Hobby Lobby that I haven't really gotten out and needle felting. Up here we've got a bunch of brackets and vellum as well as some other little memories from vacation. Up here we've got journal tags, chipboard buttons, rub-ons, and quote stickers. Those all came, those containers all came from Target and we have a green hair dryer. These are memories from my brother's senior year, my senior year, and then just miscellaneous stuff. Again, all from Target, these containers were. And these are just randomly. We have these from my cousin's wedding just this year. This is another shoe organizer that we purchased from Target, but I believe they sell this stuff at Walmart too. And in this cubby, we've got a little label printer, a Xyron printer, um, there's sand and another punch back there, or a stamp with an eye on it, which is our last name, um, duct tape and a random Christmas present, buttons, down here we've got, um, an index card holder and larger chipboard in the back, we have two cubbies full of just gloves, and these two back here are just random gadgets that we might need back here as well. I don't really know what they are. We've got these vinyl book covers we want to use on the Cricut one day. Some calculators and some chipboard in this white container. This is all the accessories up here for the cuddle bug. This is stuff for glitter mixing. This is a wireless uh, hot glue gun. This is another punch set. We've got like a large punch right here and then this is another punch set of letters and then we've got some more punches in here that are larger they're just circles or ampersand and some more punch and punches in the back these little containers came from the Dollar Tree one or not the Dollar Tree but Target's one spot this up here is just again some miscellaneous stickers or borders and just accordion folders paper protectors and accordion folders some albums and memory trays are up here same with there, and some more 12 by 12 paper packs. And then back here, we've got a Cricut, 
cutter thing. I'm not sure what they're called. This is a stamping set. We've got travel accents. Um, Emily's pet stuff. I was going to do a pet scrapbook before. My Dis our Disney keepsakes from we went a few years ago. And then we have another one of these large cutters. Chipboard tags, vellum quotes, and I these look like cutouts right here. Disney stickers and assorted brads and clipboards. And then down here, there's some projects down here. Um, so some t-shirts, maybe a blanket will be made. We've got some Disney, what is this, an album I think? And just some random magazines and a box of I don't know what. This is where we hang our Cricut um, mats, I guess. They're sticky so that the paper can be held on them while they're cutting. Then we have this closety type cabinet, and we got it from Target, as well as this two cube from Target, and the one over there I showed you with the music in it. Inside of here, we have a Zyron Create a Sticker. We've got some blank note cards, some random cards for Christmas, and thank yous and things, some more photo albums, tissue paper, um, shipping things, little candles, binders, Disney frames, um, other picture frames. I've got a pixie sewer down there, a, what is that? Bedazzler, a slideshow maker, and something else. I think that's a photo printer. Up here, my mom just keeps her stuff for a poetic magpie show. She's got a T for her first name. A little nest and the poetic magpie little doodad back there that I taped up and weed. And here she's got some, like, containers like this. And I believe there might be some jewelry in here. Or this is what she used to store her jewelry in. And some two little gift bags that might be a free gift with purchase. Two boxes. One's for me, one's for my brother. I don't think anything's in them. And we have a few of these, which don't have anything in them. And then the very top one has all my mom's jewelry in it. Then back here, we've just got some scrapbooking magazines and manuals, travel memories, my stuff for the hospital. And then in this container, there's like graph paper, Crayola markers more binder notebooky things. These are stickers. Yeah, these are all stickers up here too for the different holidays and different like Disney pets, travel letters, fall holidays, Christmas, winter are all up there. This all right here, there's like some sewing stuff. You're going to see my shadow a lot. There's some sewing stuff. There's some stuff that my mom uses for her jewelry making. Um, this is some stuff that my mom wants to rework into jewelry. Some of this might be stuff that she wants to work into it too, and some of these boxes we use for shipping in sometimes. Not all the time, so don't be thinking you're going to get a box like that all the time. These are just random clothespins that we have. This is a little organizer that I brought in here. Those are all pictures down there. Those are my dad's photos, my grandparents' photos, brother's photos, my photos. And this whole bin, this is all sewing stuff. So we've got sewing, thread, and pins. So we've got some curling ribbon and testy tube things down here. And then the very bottom, there's hot glue stuff. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw this hanging, but this is all leather cording. My mom uses in her jewelry biz. Then in this pink box, we got flameless candles out the wazoo in the whole thing. And in the very far right one, there are florally things to make floral arrangements. So like foam things. I don't know what they're called. Some more floral stuff. And moss in the very bottom here. At my mom's station, or this is what we call my mom's side, but everything is my mom's. But she always sits over here. This is her jewelry in there. And then this little thing she has over here has all of the jewelry pieces that she can work with. She's got beads in here, some magazines, 
Um, just some other stuff that she can work with. Love these. These are so cute. I forgot we had them. Um, there's a ton of this kind of stuff. You know, I'm not going to go through all the drawers, but this is some pieces that she has right now. She's got her computer here, which sucks. It's so old. Um, she's got some more jewelry stuff in that silver thing. Um, she just keeps, like, pens and pencils around. That's some old iced coffee from this morning. Um, that's a picture frame that I got her for her business. I think it's really pretty. And th that's so my mom, that picture frame. And then just a sneak peek of her jewelry, Hans Mar. She's got a smart printer over here, which is not so smart. It does not work very well. It's called the HP Photo Smart E Station. Um, I only know that because it's on, and that has not shut off for like a couple of days. Down here she keeps, um, this is what she works on her jewelry with. I can't get it out of here. It must be like shoved in here. But it's just like foam and stuff. You can travel with it if you wanted. Um, and here's her little sewing kit she moved everything into. And we've got some more albums that were too big to fit anywhere else. And then on top, since we're since I'm currently working on stuff, we've pulled out these little books that we've got. So this one is the Mariposa card stock. Let me see. This came from TJ Maxx, so keep your eyes peeled there. Um, I've got like a Safari one out, this premium one out. You know, just some different ones. We like DCWV, anything like that. Some kit. Cricut cartridges. Here's another printer on this side. This is the one that works. Just a good old Epson stylus photo. RX 580. The, the Cricut stays right there. And then on my side, it's a mess because I've been working and I was like, I'm not going to clean this up for you guys. Everything back there is my personal stuff. Right here, I've got pens and stuff. I made one of those. I didn't make the other. Just the one with the little body on it. It's a Betsy Johnson pen. Got highlighters, an adhesive, some more adhesive, a hammer, any little random tool you might need. And these are just some things I'm working on for my new shop that I want to start. It's going to be a planner shop, so if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. So that's it for my craft room tour. If you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also, super sorry about the lighting, but I just got home from dinner with the family. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Request anything that you want to see, please. It would be greatly appreciated if you want to see the Hawaii uh, haul. I'll definitely do that. If you want to see some craft videos, let me know. Also, I did not show you up here. Um, we keep some e.l.f. eye palettes that I just don't use anymore for the clay crafts. And I made that little guy. He's a needle felted owl. Alright. See you guys in my next one. Bye.